Hey guys, this is Jordan from Slippery Gaming, coming to you today with some PS4 information, some facts about the PS4, and also my own opinion. So, um, stay tuned at the end for my opinion if you want to hear it, but the whole beginning and most of this is going to be about the facts. You can also notice the gameplay in the background is going to be from, a uh, Killzone Shadowfall. It's Killzone Shadowfall gameplay for the PS4, so enjoy that while you listen to the podcast. And here we go. Some hardware specs. Everyone was guessing they were going to use AMD, and of course they did. Um, they're going to have 8 x86-64 AMD Jaguar CPU cores, AMD Radeon based graphics engineering powering that. It's going to be crazy. Let's just say you will never have a problem with your graphics. or um, And I'll get to the memory in a second, which will kind of blow your mind as well. It's going to be able to have a lot of parallel processing power, and it's going to be able to handle the majority of the PS4 grunt work. It's it's just ridiculous. Now here's the memory. It says the PS4 have eight gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. So basically eight gigabytes of RAM. It's crazy. It'll it'll have lightning fast performance. You won't have to worry about anything like that. I'll go into some other specs it has. If we're looking at a Blu-ray disc support, it's gonna have DVD. It's gonna have an HDMI out port, and it's also gonna have an analog AV out and optical digital output. So those are kind of the specs that will be on the back of the um, PS4. Now there's this new thing called the PlayStation 4i, E-Y-E. And what this is, it's a newly developed camera system. It has two highly sensitive cameras equipped on it with wide angle lenses and 85 degree diagonal angle views. And it says, um, the Sony says the cameras, which are about 1280 times 800 pixels, it can actually cut out the image of player from the background or differentiate between players in the background and foreground. They also, which is, I think this is amazing, they said they may allow logging in with facial recognition and using voice and body movements to play games more intuitively. So I think that's pretty amazing. Backwards compatibility. Will the PS4 be backwards compatible? Definitely not. Um, it says the PS4 will not offer native support for PS3 games. Now, before you guys get upset at that, they may not offer it initially. However, at some point, there will be a service on the Sony Entertainment Network that offers server-side emulation and streaming of games from PS1 Classics right into the PS3 Platinum Edition. So they'll they'll have PS1 to PS3 games available eventually to play on the PS4. You just gotta maybe wait a little while, depending on um, you know, depending on how long it takes them to release that. Now, one of the biggest announcements they had was the new controller. It's called the DualShock 4. It's um, it comes in the form of a DualShock 4 pad, which is where it got the name. It's it's a classic design, but it's it has better vibrations, enhanced motion sensors, and a Vita-like touchpad on the front. Now, um, Sony basically gave a few quotes when at the conference, and they said it has a much tighter sense of control over in-game actions, and they said it also enhanced the rumble capabilities and reduced controller latency. So if that was ever a problem for you guys, you know, expect it to be solved by now. A few new features have been added to the controller. It has, like I said, a touchpad. It has a share button. A headphone jack and a light bar for simpler and you know more friendly identifications of players so the share button basically the share button will let players broadcast their games to Facebook in real time you, you could be playing a game and you can just broadcast right to Facebook what you're doing I mean I think that's pretty amazing friends can post comments on your on your screen but if you're stuck on a level and you need assistance here's this awesome a friend can actually take over your controller and guide you through a level so goodbye uh, not knowing how to complete a level let's see the release date this is the PS4 release day is holiday 2013. That's the only that's the only really detail they re- revealed about that. But I mean, you know it's going to be released in the U.S. Positive. It's almost certainly going to be released in Japan. We have a you know a slight feeling that the U.K. and Europe will have to wait a little longer since it's happened before, and they might even have to wait till early 2014, depending on when the release date is. PlayStation Move is another feature. They, Sony confirmed that the PlayStation Move will play a big part in the PS4 ecosystem. So just, you know, basically expect that. Expect the PlayStation Move when uh, the PS4 comes out. Oh, here's one of the cool features about it. You remember how uh, it used to take you a long time to uh, to turn on your PS3 and PS2, whatever, and be able to play your games and then turn it off and everything? Well, here they have a new feature called PS4 Instant On. PS4 will be you'll be able to shut down during a game and then boot up from scratch within seconds. The ability to turn the PS4 on and off really quickly is going to be amazing. Like I said, you'll be able to do it within seconds and then resume right where you left off. One of the last things I'm going to talk about is the PS4 pricing. No pricing details were actually revealed at the event, 
but there are various rumors that had come out before launch. They're probably going to put it somewhere around $400, which is about 250 pounds, 255 pounds. It's kind of backed by a recent report in Times where Sony actually said they wanted to get a price of under 300 pounds, and if $400 is around 255 pounds, you can assume maybe maybe the price point might be you know 400, 450 dollars. That's that's what we can assume, but nothing guaranteed. Our second-hand games on the way out. There are rumors that say that Sony is going to in the same direction as Microsoft and they wants to kill off the second-hand game market. We don't know yet, just rumors. Obviously, it's gonna, they didn't reveal as much as we wanted them to. They did a lot of gameplay at um, their conference, but they did reveal they did reveal a good amount, you know, enough to get us excited about it. At least start saving our money, that's for sure. And oh, and last thing, what's the PS4 going to be called? PS4, there you go. Nothing special there, no special names, exactly what we wanted, what we're looking for. My opinion on all this, well, I'm probably not going to buy a PS4 myself. I'm used to the Xbox 360, and I'll probably buy an Xbox 720 as well. However, I'm excited for the people that do like the PS4. It sounds like it's going to be a huge step from what the PS3 had. And, you know, I mean, you guys enjoy it save up your money buy it and have fun with the games it's gonna have amazing graphics and ops the uh, sony entertainment has had better graphics for the whole time you can't you can't deny that and the fact that you don't pay for monthly payments is another plus so yeah it has its has its definitely has its pluses but um that's basically it i'll be releasing my clip a day every day you guys keep checking that out I'm also um, going to re-upload my chapter 4 for my Halo 4 co-op campaign. I'm sorry about that. I didn't realize it blacked out after 3 minutes. So I'll re-upload that get that out as soon as possible. Anyways, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you next time.